I want to let you all know that uh, I love you all very much. <laughs> I am James Kyle McRae. I'm running for president. And I want you to join the pack. <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight. For those of you I haven't had the chance to meet yet, I'm Celine, and I hope to serve as your SRC president next year. My time on the SRC so far has really allowed me to understand what the role of the SRC is and should be and how we can improve as an organization. First, I would like to continue support for clubs and existing student initiatives on campus. Legacies like Dancing Bear and the Climbing Gym and newer projects like the Mark and Eco Week are just a few of the examples of student initiatives that have been so successful at both engaging students but also providing valuable services. Support to, to ensure their continued viability is an important part of the SRC's mandate. These existing clubs and events all had to start somewhere. And so I think another important part of the SRC's role is to support the development of new initiatives, both by SRC ministers but also by anyone at the general student body. We've done a good job of this this year, but I think next year we can improve by helping include all people in the student body, making sure that anyone who's interested and wants to get involved and give back to this wonderful community has the support and resources to do so. Encouraging student-led initiatives is part of a larger idea, engagement. I think we should continue to make the SRC as a whole more accessible to all students. Having a plainly worded version of our constitution or an information as to what to expect at an SRC meeting, or why we have these additional Thursday lunchtime meetings. I'd also like to have more forums for discussion on different aspects of student life, like the bursary talks, so that we can truly, the SRC can truly represent its students. Often students have great ideas about how to solve problems at Quest, but aren't necessarily given an outlet in which to propose these or communicate them to others. Even just the meetings we've had between the SRC and Residence Council have generated great new ideas for projects and ways we can improve life at Quest. I'd like to continue these, but also extend them to the whole student body. While engaging students, I'd also like to improve the SRC's image as an organization. There's been significant strides in this lately. We now have finances that are organized and transparent, and some of the proposed amendments in our constitution will hopefully fix the embarrassing grammar and spelling mistakes that exist. <laughs> in the future, I'd like to explore ways that we can be even more accountable to students and forge a better relationship with the administration while maintaining our independence as a distinct organization. So far, I've focused on key values and larger ideas that I think are worth pursuing in the work of the SRC. You'll notice that I haven't, proposed a, I haven't made a large-scale proposal in order to attract your votes. While these are inspiring and definitely should be undertaken, I think that it's difficult to promise something to you now that I can't fully guarantee will be a reality next year. And this is something I've learned this year. I've encountered unforeseen obstacles that have delayed the projects I've been starting on, working on, on since the start of my term as concentration representative. If elected president, I would be able to build upon what I've learned over the past year and foster a, an SRC that works and communicates effectively by focusing on larger values and goals that the SRC should aspire to rather than specific projects and initiatives, I'm proposing an SRC that will be more responsible and accountable to you, its constituents. Before I end, I would like to take a moment to thank the Elections Committee for coordinating this whole process. The task is much larger than most people realize, and I, along with the other candidates, I'm sure, are very thankful for your efforts. I'm sorry that I don't have one neat initiative that I can pitch to you. But I think that the broader ideas and themes that I've presented to you provide something even better. They can provide you with an idea of what next year's SRC could do. We could continue to support existing and successful student projects, provide resources and opportunities for any student to take on a new project, engage students by improving communication and accessibility to the SRC, and ensure the SRC is seen as both a legitimate and accountable organization. In the end, voting for me as president means putting faith in my good judgment, trusting that I will guide the SRC responsibly, making sure that your voices are heard and that you are effectively represented. Thank you. It's time, West. It's time. 
It's time that we renewed our commitment to values of respect, caring, and fairness. It's time that we renegotiated and reconstructed our relationship with student affairs and the administration. And it's time that we expressly support and encourage ventures that could result in the creation of a flexible student space. Space is a valuable commodity on campus, and ever more so as we continue to grow and evolve as not only an institution, but also as a community. When events like wine and cheese are no longer able to be hosted in a single person's condo, and the negative ramifications of noise complaints and residence damages accumulate, the need for a space becomes clearer than ever. As such, we must make our intentions clear about facilitating and encouraging proposals and ideas that aim to solve this pertinent and persistent problem. By expressing our interest, we can explore the variety of options that students have devoted time and effort to producing, ensuring thorough debate and engagement in a project that is truly from our community. But we must note that we cannot do this without the support and encouragement of student affairs and administration. Our relationship to administration and student affairs will always be a fundamental part of our experience and ultimately our institution's success. The opportunities to work together towards our mutual goal of ensuring an institution that is thriving, that encourages us to take greater heights of achievement and understanding must be taken now. Our opportunity can be taken in a number of different ways, and that can be ranging from creating a minister dedicated to regular communication and clarity of our roles and responsibilities with student affairs. Or it can be the invitation and the inclusion of a student affairs staff member who will be able to provide clarity and confirmation of proposals that involve the resources of both, or even amendments to the Constitution that ultimately encourage the SRC to actively meet and communicate with student affairs and administration on a regular basis. But we must make the commitment clear and our actions reflective of such a commitment no matter what direction we decide to take in in improving our community. In doing so, we renew our commitment to the values that I strongly believe in. Respect, caring, and fairness. We can demonstrate respect by recognizing and encouraging the diverse range of opinions that we hold on campus and providing a venue for those voices to be listened to. We can demonstrate caring by helping those who make mistakes and encouraging them to be better. And we can demonstrate fairness by justifying our choices and our decisions in a clear and transparent manner. And so it's time. Time that we made our voice heard and our message clear. We support proposals that we create a space for the student body, that we commit to strengthening our relationships for the common good, and that we embody respect caring, and fairness in all of these endeavors. Because, Quest, it's time. It's time. I'm Janelle Gustafson. I'm a first year here. And I'm running for vice president. One of the main reasons I chose to attend Quest was the sense of community I experienced when I came to visit. I don't know if it's the size of the student body or just the type of person Quest attracts, but I didn't experience that at any other university I visited. And I think that's part of what makes Quest so special, is that collaboration and interaction between students here. I think especially as the population grows over the next few years, it's really important to actively maintain that sense of community here. I plan on using the vice presidential position to facilitate interaction and collaboration between students and help encourage a close-knit community on campus. One of the main ways I plan to do this is by facilitating communication and collaboration between SRC ministers. All of the ministerial positions represent great parts of our Quest community. Our artistic talents, our athletes, our passion for the environment, even the classes we take. 
but none of the, the positions encompass all of these interests on Quest campus to really co combine them and create a sense of community. I think the vice presidential position can serve as that role, can serve as that link between not only the SRC ministers and all the interests that Quest student body really cares about. I also want to use the vice president position as a link between the SRC and the student body. I have a few ideas for doing this. The first is working to facilitate more communication with student affairs. I think both of these organizations have a huge place on Quest campus and that it's really important for the SRC and student affairs to work together to create solutions for various issues around campus. However, it's also really important that we establish what the roles of both of those organizations are so that we can uncomplicate those discussions and make it smoother for the student body, student affairs, and the SRC to interact. I also want to work with the Residence Council to promote more community-wide events. Days like Community Day where students can come together and work together and interact with each other. I think this is especially important to connect new and returning students, especially with the gap between first and fourth years. Lastly, I want to be an accessible point of contact for the student body, for the SRC, and for the administration. I think the vice president position can serve as that link that not only works with these groups individually, but also connects them and can help encourage communication. The diversity on Quest campus is an incredibly huge part of what makes Quest Quest. But I think we also need to work on connecting that diversity to facilitate that sense of community. If you elect me as the vice president, I'll work on facilitating interaction and collaboration between students. Stay classy, Quest. <laughs> this year, I've ramped up my involvement with the SRC. And though no one running for vice president right now has been on the SRC before, I have significant experience working with them. As co-coordinator of Dancing Bear Music Festival, um, I brought a funding proposal for about 20 grand to the SRC. They asked us to reduce the cost by about five grand, and I came back after winter vacation with a proposal for less than 16, which the SRC accepted at their first meeting this block. So we didn't get enough money to satisfy our many requests to have Jay-Z at Dancing Bear. That was the most significant funding passed this far by the SRC. <laughs> so I had to work with ministers to get the funding, and I know the kinds of things they consider, and I know how SRC funding works. I've recently been meeting with the current Vice President, Lauren Head, to learn about what the role entails. One of the most important jobs for the VP is liaising with other groups on campus, like clubs, student affairs, and the Residence Council. In part due to Lauren's work, the Res Council and the SRC have started meeting regularly, and their pooled resources have allowed them to better understand student opinions on lots of issues, like wine and cheese. If I am Vice President, I will definitely continue these meetings. This year's SRC is also doing a good job of supporting student initiatives, like hockey and Northwest Winterfest. When the SRC make funding decisions, they consider so many logistical issues, like their previous policies and how many students would benefit. As Vice President, I could personally help make student initiatives succeed. I like logistics, and I've planned many events in the past, including dances and a graduation ceremony. I'm also very happy with the infrastructure this year's SRC has invested in. For example, the new spinning bikes, the third floor slack lines, and the recording studio, which will open in a couple weeks. <coughs> I want to see even more lasting improvements to campus in the SRC budget next year, because these continue to make campus better without recurring costs. A swing set, for example, would be a great investment. <laughs> As VP, I will try to get us a swing set. <laughs> Despite the current SRC's successes, I've heard from a lot of first years um, that they don't know how SRC funding works or how to get it. The SRC should serve all kinds of students, so I want to make several changes to make the SRC funding more accessible. First, if I'm elected, I will personally run workshops on what kinds of things the SRC funds and how to get funding. I want every student to feel that SRC funding is accessible and that it exists to make your ideas into realities. Another problem is that students applying for funding have often had to wait for over an hour uh, in SRC meetings, which can be a deterrent to applying for funding at all. SRC meetings stretch on, partially because this year ministerial updates have happened before funding proposals. If I'm elected vice president, I would push for a change in policy where funding proposals would come first, so that nobody feels they can't afford the time to apply for funding. I recently joined the Constitutional Reform Committee, organized by Graham Fisher, and have become familiar with the SRC Constitution. The SRC is our way of pooling our resources of money, time, and energy to do as much as we can for each other. And I know that I can commit to an institution like that. I want to support student initiatives, help make SRC funding more accessible, and leave Quest better than it was when we got here. Thank you. I'll be here after to answer any questions. Think about the type of student
institution and government you want? Is it one that organizes events, or one that showers you with confetti every time you walk into your room? <laughs> or perhaps it's none of these. And that's okay, that's great. Your exciting and unique ideas are what attract me to the SRC, and what bring me here today. Many of you may recognize me from Community Update, or perhaps as a member of the women's soccer team, or maybe in the past as the girl selling you textbooks. <laughs> My name is Kyle Kirkhart. I was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then moved to Whistler, where I've lived nearly ever since. Now I'm here at Quest in my third year, where, quite honestly, I couldn't be happier. As you know, I'm running for Vice President of the SRC, whose duties are defined in Article 3 of the Constitution as to work alongside the President sharing responsibilities, and to take on the responsibilities of the President in the case that they are absent. This doesn't sound too exciting, and well, that's because it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> While this description theoretically allows for the Vice President to engage in large projects and individual initiatives, it doesn't call for them and there's a reason why. The SRC requires significant grunt work and work behind the scenes. This work isn't pretty, it isn't easy, but it has to be done. These annoying administrative tasks make the SRC's exciting ideas come to life. This responsibility falls on the shoulders of the Vice President. And I believe that my shoulders are built for such a role. I'm not running based on a single project or idea that I have for the SRC, but rather what I can contribute daily, weekly, and monthly to its operations. I have administrative experience from my previous jobs, such as writing up invoices while working at a fine art gallery, or inputting contacts into databases for the Whistler Arts Council. No one held a parade for me, but my work helped my employers do a lot of good things, so I was happy. It seems that most candidates share the goal of increasing student involvement and engagement. And I agree, this is a noble goal. But I don't believe this is going to come from a single idea. To me, involvement and engagement follow when the SRC functions well. So that is my goal. A smooth functioning SRC with no loose ends. One in which ministers can work together cooperatively, the president has the time to lead, and your ideas can become a reality. Because ultimately it's about your ideas, not my ideas, that make the student government work for you. I don't mind doing administrative tasks and facilitating your discussions with this government. In fact, I would enjoy doing these tasks when they're contributing to a bigger picture and a community I care about. This will be the case if I'm working for you, with you, and alongside you as the Vice President of Quest SRC. If this fits your vision, lend me your vote. Thank you. I stood up here in front of you last year promising to get you more involved with the Squamish community. I stand in front of you now, making the commitment to involve and engage each of you in the SRC, its dealings, and its function as a representative body for you, the students of Quest University Canada. I'm writing on the principle that promises made to you, the students, will turn into actions. It's this accountability that not only makes for an effective SRC, but a more willingly engaged student body. I want you, the students, to be the leaders and the SRC to be a means of having your leadership roles reach their potential, not only through funding, but also through advice, representative voice, and advocacy for your ideas. A good leader not only leads, but inspires others to lead, and I will be that leader. I want students to have easier access to happenings of the SRC. I plan on making this happen in part through the use of social media. Students want information given to them in small, easy to understand, easy to access bits. I hope to turn the actions of the SRC into something as widely talked about as the latest entertaining yet superfluous quest rants on the Facebook page. <laughs> Let's debate the key issues and turn our debates into actions. Over the next two and a half years, my question will focus on how the brain makes decisions, and from this, how to give people the optimal choices from which to make these decisions. I will bring you that knowledge and my growing expertise into this position, giving you, the students, the best options regarding vital decisions and issues that are important to your time here at Quest. At the end of my question block this past December, Steve Kwan gave a speech in which the overall message really stuck. Upon leaving the class, he challenged us to step outside our comfort zones, seize opportunity, live and learn, and whatever you are, be a good one. Right now, I stand outside my comfort zone, 
because I want to push the boundaries. I want to enhance the relationship that you, the students, have with the SRC. I want to seize the opportunity to have every and all of your ideas heard, to live with the full potential that being a Quest student offers all of us. And above all, if elected Vice President of the SRC, I will be a good one. I stand in front of you today committing to fundamentally cement the S in the SRC. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Amal Khalil, the future president of Egypt and a co-conspirator in bringing down Egypt's first false democracy. Today, I'm going to ask you for three things. First, please be, get crazy for my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> to get to know, every, in fact doable, to get to know every single member of the community. And by knowing them, I don't just mean know their names or where they come from, but also the story that shapes the person who they are today. The privilege of receiving a Quest education is second only to the privilege of befriending the amazing individuals who make Quest what it is. Engaged, unique, and awesome. I can confidently say that at this point of time, I know more members of this community than any other person in this room. So, be that analogy. Please let her know I said that. <laughs> and I guess you all know it's true. Today I'm running for SRC, Student Representatives Council. I will represent you best because I know you the best. And I make it my point every single day to expand my outreach to every member of this community and put my utmost energy to get to know their story better. Alongside with my strong relationship with, with the different individuals and social circles at Quest, I trust that the energy and spirit that, that keep me cheering loudly and banging on drums for hours at basketball home games are going to enable me to be an efficient linkage point between the SRC executive team and the student body. After graduating from the African Leadership Academy in Johannesburg, South Africa, I did marketing and product development for a tech startup in San Francisco for a year before, uh, the year before I come to Quest. I was very successful in what I did, uh, for them, because, because the best ideas I suggested came from complete strangers. People whom I was able to make an instant connection with. This coupled with my international experience has provided me with a plethora of lenses through which to examine issues and make informed decisions. I have the passion, energy and skills necessary for the job. This is what I'll bring for the SRC. Vote for me, I'll be your Habib. 